What's up guys? So it's been quite a while since I made another video of a Bud K opening. It's probably been about a month or two since I made my last video. And uh, well, it's time to do another one. So today, I probably have the biggest order I've ever gotten to date. Because the box is huge as my wiener. But anyway, but yeah, they were having a uh, buy one get one sale. That tore that shit up. Let's open this box. It's kind of open already. Good knife. Today I'm using a Gerber Ghost Body. Got it from Walmart for like 20 bucks. My buddy gave it to me. Thank you, Michael. But anyhow. So today, magazine, as always, this paper. The brown paper. Like I said, they were having a buy one, get one sale. So I bought a lot of shit. A lot of cheap shit. But I got a lot of it. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I guess, will be this. This is a dead... Oh, nice. This was a, a, a last minute sale. I kind of got it while I was checking my card out. It's the Mountain Man Buck Knife. It's got a pretty fat handle. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks nice far away. But you get a closer look at it. I don't know if you can see it. But right here looks like shit. But it's not very sharp. I'm gonna cut my finger on this shit again. I hate that stuff. This comes with a Leather sheath, which is pleather, actually, because, you know, you just scratch the shit out of it. This was $7, I think. I didn't check the reviews. I kind of just bought the stuff. But I bought one, and I got another one for free. So it's really not bad. That's a pretty nice knife. I'll probably use it or just give it to one of my friends or something. I don't know. The next thing I got, I've had my eye on this for a while, is the stiletto knife. This big. See? It's too dark. Oh, oh, oh. There. It's a little better. We gotta get the fucking glare. Fuck it. Anyway. Can't see. You don't know if you can see it, but like. There it is. It's got that black. It looks like wood, but you can definitely tell it's plastic or something. Because the wood grain actually looks like plastic. But anyway, it's just like. That's a big ass blade. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good size. It's probably like eight inches overall, maybe. Because you know my hand. It feels sharp. It's kind of sharp. It's not really. That's actually really nice. It's it's pretty quick. Like if these were ten dollars. There you go. That's really cool. I like that. Ten bucks, and I got one for free. Put you over there. The next thing, this caught my eye pretty quick. It was even the first thing I, I looked at that I was like, oh shit, I gotta have. And this is the trench knife. World War style assisted open folder. Ultimate speed and protection. pretty light. It's got the knuckles on there. They're really fucking thin though. 
like can I compare it to Cyclone? Oh, I really can't see it. But they're not very thick. There you go. A little bit thinner than an iPod. And it's also with the switch, the flip switch in the back. It's not as fast as a stiletto, but it's still pretty, pretty quick. Let's see how sharp it is. Oh my lord! Wow. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do it up here. Well, yeah, fuck it. The thing is, there you go, you can see it now right there. That thing is fucking sharp. <laughs> Damn, look at that right there. Good lord. It's pretty light too, and it, it feels kind of weird in your hand because you got these, this whatever for the knuckles. So I guess you can punch somebody and then poke them. Or however you want to fight, I don't care. But it's kind of big. It feels all right in my pocket. You really don't notice the knuckles on there, I guess, because they're so thin. But these were also ten dollars. The fucking light, shit. These are pretty cool. I like that. Very nice. Okay, that's that. I got that knife. And I got a second one for free. Fuck yeah. Then, I didn't check the reviews until after I bought the freaking things. And I got a bunch of them. The tomahawk ketchup. Yeah, I bought them. And then I checked the review. And they had two stars. So everybody, so these things are shit. Don't buy them. Cause they said the handle when you throw it, it breaks right here, or the the head comes out. They're not very sharp, but the wood handle, I got an oak. It looks like a oak, I guess. I don't know. I can't tell what it is. But it's actually, it feels really nice in your hand, and it's kind of battle. No. There goes my computer. But it feels, it's more, well, I guess it's pretty nice, it's alright, like I paid 10 bucks for them, and I got, <laughs> 4, <laughs> I bought 2 and I got 4 of them for free, but I'll go and, I'll test this out and see how it happens, how it rolls, maybe I'll get lucky and another one will break, but yeah, I bought 1, I bought 2, and I got 2 more, so I have 4 of these. So, uh, yeah, I might have to do something with those. I don't know what, but I got plenty of them. And then, this caught me out pretty quick. I actually bought two more after I made this order to get some of my friends. And it's the... It's got a nice sheep. The, uh, Hailstorm Sword. It look, it's kind of small. I think it's like 26 inches overall, so it's like as big as my arm. It's not sharp at all. It's got the cheap paracord handle wrap right here. It's got the little cutouts right here. I guess, I bet the cutouts will make it feel weird. Because this right here makes it thin. These cuts right here make the blade a little bit thinner. But you can sharpen it right here. You can see it. Look, it's got an edge right there. You probably sharpen if you wanted to. Huh. But yeah. Buy one, get one. I love that buy one, get one shit. That's the greatest thing ever. I think right now they have a free shipping deal going on. Like right now. You get to buy like $35 minimum to get it. But yeah. It's made of steel, I would assume. And uh, oh yeah. I forgot. I got a surprise bag again. I mean, bag of shit. 
Is this a doll in a fourteen dollar bag? But we'll uh well after the twenty five dollar one I got that beats it. Load it, aim it, shoot it. The shot glasses. In the shape of guns. I got two little shot glasses. All right. I don't, I don't know how much this goes for. I'll look into it later. I guess that's cool. I don't want to do it because I don't. I don't do shots. But yeah, I got two back. I'll do a price check and see how much this stuff costs later. And then I got more fucking rocks and a pen. And then I got a kissing crane. A really small, it's as big as my freaking pointer finger. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, remember the hooker boot I got that I cut my finger on? I got a mini one. And it's seriously like, as big as my finger. Is it sharp? Yeah, it's sharp. See, I didn't cut my finger this time. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I probably will have no use for this except to, like, pick my teeth. I would assume it's like a knife for ants. Ha! Huh. And then I got a... Oh, wow. I think it's two of them. United Edge. And this knife says, uh... Whack Attack. It's got two deer on it, button heads. It's just a cheap lockback knife. I guess it's cool. I'm not really into knives like this because they feel really cheap. It's not. Oh, it's plastic. No, it's metal. The handle right here, the actual handle, is metal, and it's got this picture of two deer, two deer button heads. Special outdoor series, yeah. It's kind of sharp, not really. No, it's, it's okay. And last. Got this. Covert Ops Dagger. It looks big. Oh. <laughs> it's so little. Comparison. His little... Plastic, hard plastic sheet, but it's, it's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Because I bought... Well, it's a push... That's what it is. It's a push dagger. You put it in your hand like this, you just punch a dude in the mouth or whatever you do with it. Box cutter. Open. Letter opener. That's all I'll use this for. That's cool. So, uh... I guess that's probably the best bug surprise bag I've gotten so far. Because I got this. And the shot glasses. Here comes my brother, I think. Anyway, well, yeah. I'm gonna go try out those axes and let's see what happens. I'll be back.